Welcome back to the next video. In today's video, I will show you how to do document scanning for your React Native app, especially for Android. I have already done a video for iOS using the Vision framework for iOS to do document scanning. So this video is specifically for Android. So let's see how to do that. So first, I'll uh, I have this document. Uh, okay, and what uh, I will do is that I will just scan this document. So this is my output. So what I'll do is I'll just uh minimize this a little so that you can see my output as well and i'll try to scan this document so i have clicked the scan button and here you can see it has the uh, option of auto capture so we don't even have to click the button if you want to click the button you can do that as well I will just hold it steadily and it will auto capture it for me. So now it is saving. So here you can see it has saved now and now you can either click on done or if you want to scan more you can crop rotate filter clean retake delete it as well i will just click on done and once i click on done it sends me an image uri and i am displaying that image inside an image view uh, so yeah also there is an option of uh, pdf as well so if you want the output in pdf you can do that as well i will also show you that but for pdf what i am doing is that once i get the uri of the of your captured uh, document i'm just sharing it with others uh, if you don't want to share that pdf with others like i'm just showing the share sheet but if you don't want to sh uh, show it i also have another video of how to uh, display pdf using pdf renderer in react native with the help of uri so you can with the help of that video you can uh, display the pdf as well so yeah let's get started so first uh, what i'll do is uh, first you will have to create a react native uh, application and i am using the new architecture so for that uh, you can just search for new arc enabled and make this as true i have already done that uh, if you are curious you can follow the react native architecture as well documentation so if you go over here you can see that for android you will have to make this as new arc enabled as true next uh, you will have to open this turbo native modules documentation because i will be copying a lot of code from this documentation itself so it's better you keep this documentation handy also uh, inside your android folder build.gradle i have updated the kotlin version to 1.8.20 next i have gone to this i have created this folder called rtn myscan it is a turbo module so first create a package.json and again i have copy pasted this from the documentation itself only this name will changed this name will changed so uh, this name will changed and this name will changed everything else is from the documentation itself next i have created a pod spec file again this name has been changed and the contents is uh, more or less the same only this name has been changed in content everything else remains the same next i have created a js folder and inside that i have created a typescript file again i have copy pasted everything from the documentation uh, only i have changed this method to scan and this scan method will uh, actually actually you don't even need this okay you can keep it as void uh, sorry to uh, my mistake like uh, this method won't return anything i will tell you why it won't return anything you can keep it as void as well you don't all need all this stuff uh, but if you change uh, void over here uh, then uh, make sure if you go to the android src my scan module so here also you will have to remove this okay because uh, that's how it is so it depends on you if you are just uh, keeping it uh, like i have kept it then you keep promise over here if not then remove this promise uh, okay so uh, just for simplicity sake i will keep i will keep it as it is but i am not returning any promise and i will tell you why i am not returning any promise and this also name i have changed everything else remains the same next uh, inside the android folder i have created a build.gradle file and again i have copy pasted everything from docs i have updated the build.gradle to 8.2.0 i have updated compile hdk to 34 and this is my own package name and i have also updated 
uh, the Kotlin uh, standard lib to 1.8.20 also you don't need this like I have just copy pasted it from my other turbo module uh, sorry you don't need this as well so you can comment this out next I have created a file called my scan so in android you will have to create all this folder src main java com and this should be your own package name which you have defined inside your build or gradle as well as package or json and here uh, again i have copy pasted everything from docs only this package name has changed this name has changed and this my scan module file names has changed everywhere everything else remains the same next i have copied this my scan module and here what i'm doing inside the scan method i'm just asking for the internet permission i know we don't need to explicitly ask for internet permission that is by default granted and secondly you might be curious why i'm asking for the internet permit the reason is that for uh, scanning the document we require access to register for activity result and that can be only accessed from the main activity you can't access it from the turbo module so i have done a hack so currently what i'm doing i'm calling this uh, internet permission so this callback goes automatically to your main activity okay so you can just copy paste this we'll come back to that main act activity code in a while okay so that's it for rtn my scan i have also created a fabric component of rtn my image because once you get the uri of the scan document you can't really use the uh, image component of react native it won't really work you can try it if it works for you well and good i tried it it didn't work for me that's why i'm using this rtn my image component now i for rtn my image i will be copying a lot of code from this fabric documentation so better you keep that handy as well next uh, first in i have created folder called rtn my image i have created package.json file i have copied everything from the docs only this name has been changed this name has been changed uh, this has been changed everything else will remain the same next i have created a pod spec file uh, again i have copied everything from the docs only this name has been changed and the file name has been changed next i have created a javascript folder inside that i have created a typescript file again i have copied pasted everything from the docs but only thing is the uh, it will take image url as a prop and the name has been changed to rt and my image everything else will remain the same next inside android folder i have created src main java com rt and my image and outside that i have created this build.gradle file so go to build.gradle again i have copy pasted everything from docs only this number has been changed compile hdk to 34 this has been changed to 34 and i am using a kotlin standard uh, 1.8.20 and i have also added this coil dependency so this will help us to uh, display image from an image uri inside our image view okay next inside src main java com rt and my image i have created a file called my image package dot kt again i have copy pasted everything from docs only package name has been changed this file name has been changed everything else will remain the same and i have referenced my image manager over here next i have created my image manager dot kt again i have copy pasted it from docs only this name has been changed i have added some imports for coil but uh, this names has been changed over here i have created my image manager this is i'm um, referencing this my image kotlin file again over here this name has been changed this name has been changed okay here 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 uh, here uh, here as well and once the image url has been passed from the react native side we call this set image url method and this uh, load method is from coil so this is your image view okay this view is your image view you just call load and you just pass the uh, uri value and here i have just set the scale to scale dot fill but you can change it to whatever you feel like next if you go to my image dot kt again i have copy pasted uh, like from the docs only the package name has been changed and it is pretty simple it just extends from the app compact image view that's it so this is done next what you will have to do is you will have to open your terminal first you will have to run this command yarn add dot slash rt and my scan once that is done so make sure you are in to the root of your react native project okay and then you will have to run this command as well once you run this command you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project then you will have to run this command so once you run this command uh, again rn app is the is my project name so whatever is your project name replace it with that similarly over here as well as over here and rtn my scan is my folder name 
which you can see over here okay uh, so this will do code generation for uh, rtn my scan similarly for rtn my image as well you will have to do the same thing again rtn rn app is my folder my project name change it to whatever is your project name and rtn my image is my folder name once you do that you will have to cd to the main android folder inside your terminal and then just run this command so this will do code generation for android once you have done uh, inside my app.tsx as you can see i have imported rtn my scan as well as rtn my image and i have added a use effect so i am continuously uh, listening for this result from uh, native android side uh, once we have scanned a particular document it will return you an image uri and once we get the image uri i am setting it to uh, set image url as well and on return i am removing all listener and here you can see i have just added one button and i am calling scan method on click of it and if the image url is not equal to empty i am just displaying it inside rtn my image and I have set some styles as well to it and next uh, you will have to open the android folder inside android studio uh, firstly check uh, you have this internet permission okay again uh, this is because of our hack uh, next you will have to go to build.gradle and here you will have to add this a uh, document scanner Compl uh, at the time of this recording it is still in beta 1 but uh, if you are watching this video in the future make sure uh, you uh, check whatever is the latest version if it is stable you can remove it uh, i don't think the api will change the api looks very stable to me okay once uh, that is done uh, you will you will have to click on sync now and then you will have to go to main activity so if you remember uh, from our turbo model we were calling the internet permission so i have written same thing uh, over here as well and once we call the internet permission the callback comes over here that's why i have overridden this method so once we get the proper internet permission uh, so this is a helper method which i have created for checking whether permission was granted or not and if permission was granted then i am calling scanner dot get start uh, scan intent and if it is success then i am launching our scanner if it is failure then i am just displaying a toast message now what this scanner object is so if you come over here first you have to create we, here we are creating our scanner so i'm just calling gmh document scanning dot get client and options and if you see options i have set the gallery imported allowed to false but if you are uh, fetching some image from your gallery you can keep this as true page limit i have set it to two but you can keep it one as well now here in result format it depends on you whether you want the image in jpeg or in pdf if you want only in jpeg you can comment this out and vice versa and here i have set the scanner mode to scanner mode full okay now once the scanner is launched you get this register for activity result which i was telling you about which can be only used in an activity or a fragment we can't use it in, in a turbo model and here we are st uh, calling that start intent sender for result and if the result is okay uh, then i am calling this uh, gms uh, document scanning result dot from activity result intent result dot data and suppose if you want the output in uh, image so you will use this code so here you can see uh, we are uh, getting an array of pages so but while fetching it i am only fetching the image URI of first page just for simplicity sake if you are scanning multiple pages you will have to uh, loop over it and you will have to send the data according to that okay we are already looping over it but fetch the proper image URI you don't have to hard code this zero and send proper image URI okay so this is if you expect the output in image if you expect the output in PDF and you want to open the share sheet dialog then you can comment this out and you can uncomment this okay so here uh, this is the output in PDF if you don't if you want the output in PDF and you don't want to open the share sheet dialog you can comment this thing out okay and here you as well as this as well okay and you you will get the pdf uri and then you can watch my uh, pdf renderer video for react native how to display pdf using pdf uri okay but if you want to share it you can use something like this and uh, apart from this you will also have to create an xml file inside the res folder and inside that create this file underscore parse.xml just copy paste this like this is boilerplate code which we have to write because of sharing part 
and also you will have to go to android manifest.xml and you will also have to write this boilerplate code again this is only for pdf if you want to share it ignore this if your output is just image uh, anything else if i forgot so i have shown you this i have shown you this as well i have shown you this i have shown you this this is done this is done this is done as well so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye